Bram Stoker's Dracula, Sony ImageSoft, 1993. The first thing I know is there's no title music. None. I don't know if that's supposed to build tension and be eerie, but it just comes off as lazy. I seriously thought my sound output was muted or messed up when I first launched this, but after hitting start and finally hearing something, I realized that's just the way this is designed. So, a standard side-scrolling game complete with Mario Coin Block ripoff. You jump really high and the camera control is a little too fast. When you duck or look up off the screen, it scrolls immediately. I've already come to a dead end. It's obvious I have to smash the ground to get through. So after some control guessing, I figure out I can do this downward smash. I do think it's neat the game doesn't exactly tell you how to do that. The game forces you to learn its controls through the gameplay. Once underground, I get a throwing weapon and encounter some enemies. Nothing too impressive, really basic side scrolling. Wait, that was it? That was pretty short. I assume there's other places I could have explored and things I could have collected, like diamonds and coins listed here. But damn, that was fast. So on to another simple side scrolling level. Pretty basic. And I'm already fighting a boss. It's kind of creepy looking, but it's got a really predictable pattern, so it's pretty simple to beat. On to scene two, inside Castle Dracula. Now we're treated to different scenery. Not that I had a whole lot of time to get used to the previous scenery. A couple of ghosts and bats, a few timing hazards, but still, nothing too intense and a really short level. So, all in all, not a bad game. Pretty simple. The controls and camera move pretty fast. It feels kind of like a demo that wasn't quite finished. It could definitely use some additional level content. Not saying that short levels are bad, it just feels like this game could use a little more content to be more rewarding. 4 out of 10.